joining me on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway, and this picture for me. Miss Marie and I are at the little Miss Marie. There Hello, she is. Hello, how are you? Good evening, there's, everybody. There's Miss Marie in Pigeon Forge, and it is crowded. Um, it's Saturday night. It's, it's a nice crowd. It's a nice crowd. It's not a um, Rod Run crowd or a Slammed Enough crowd or Gat, oh, a Gat 24 crowd. Oh, I smell the weed. Did you smell the weed? Yeah. I smell the Mary Joanna. There's a lot of that around here. But we are heading to Gatlinburg to see what's going on. We finished all our chores and our duties. Miss Marie made them. She gives me a list on a roll of toilet paper of things to do. I gotta roll it out on the carpet to see what it is. But everybody seems to be having fun. Uh, in town. Temperature, you can't ask for better temperature. It's uh, currently 60 what, degrees. Today is Saturday, right? Saturday. What time does the, the store close? Around 9 o'clock. Some 10 o'clock, but for the most part 9 o'clock. Really? Restaurants 10 o'clock usually. And it's already 8.24, yep. so when we come back around... They should start to be closed, but look at all the restaurants are full. Yes, so, the restaurants are open. This is prime time. At eight, between 8 and 9, that's really eat. Uh, people seem to be having a good time. The coaster is packed. It, it, it's been packed all week long. Make sure you check out the Goat Coast. The Fright Nights, Fridays and Saturdays, uh, spectacular. You find some of the coolest, coolest Halloween things there. No one else has. So check it out. We're heading to uh, Gatlinburg now. And Marie and I will be with you in a moment. Don't go anywhere. Cameras going. Yes. And there's definitely people in town. It's a Saturday night, and uh, we wanted to share with you our journey into Gatlin Boy. Yeah, and we want to share them a lot of traffic here. A lot of traffic, but we'll be seeing people in a moment. But people want to know what's going on here. This is what's going on. Traffic. still the most visited place in the United States. I can't wait to see what this year's census is on how many people visited the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Last year it was over 14 million. I think this year we've surpassed that and I'm, I'm just going to take a stab in the dark at around 17 million people. Which is a heck of a lot of people. You know when you put it into perspective of how small Gatlinburg really is, you know, yeah. that's a lot I of people. I got a question, how come that the camera is, is speaking up wider on this side and few Because I have it side. angled so it picks up the people walking on the right. I mean, you I could... You got that already. Yeah, that one, I could put it straight and that's what you want, like that. Does that look better for you? It's okay with me. El Presidente. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I mean, normally I do this by myself and act like a jerk by myself. Now I can act like a jerk in front of my wife. This is even better. This is a classic. Classic. And it's chilly out. It's 56 degrees, mostly clear skies, no mention of rain all through next week. Is it chilly week. right now or not? Uh, well, 56 is a little on the chilly side for well, most people like you. There are several that are wearing shorts. Well, you, you got to remember, a lot of these people, they 
they come up here in the daytime and it was so pretty today and then they forget that at night in the mountains it you can lose 20 degrees very quickly as soon as that sun goes down so you, you've got to be paying attention and speaking of cold if you should be chilly and you're wearing a t-shirt and you want to be warm head on over to any of the three stores goat coaster goats on the roof or pigeon forge traders gift shop and there you can find hoodies $25 each or two for 40 and I'm talking top quality top quality hoodies double stitched uh, most of them are embroidered you, these are $50 hoodies that are for 25 each or two for 40 you can't beat it same hoodies in this town where we are now are $49.95 same hoodies is that a shameless plug I just did yeah I think so <laughs> shameless plug but now um, this is the apex to the left of your screen which is right there that's the rest uh, area if you need a facility uh, ladies room men's room and I don't know if they have trans room or not I I did notice one thing um, I was at Dollar Tree and they don't name their bathrooms men or women they use all gender on the sign all gender I thought that was a little weird so here's Gatlinburg On a Saturday night, um, I, I gotta roll down the windows to get the ambiance. Okay, go right there. See, you gotta get the lady yelling at the kid. Right, right, honey. Yeah, that's the fun part. That is the fun part. <coughs> Let's see if Anna. Excuse me. Let's see if Anna Kista is full. <coughs> I got a cough again. Sorry. I'll drink some Java. Oh, I got my coffee. <laughs> Very happy. They really decorate it nice during the fall. And it changes. It progressively changes as you get closer to Thanksgiving and then Christmas. It, it completely overhaul it for Christmas. There's the pumpkins. What? Look at the pumpkins. Oh, Look how pretty they are. You haven't seen all this yet. I like the decorations. I do too. And I, I think they do such a great job here. They they go that extra mile to make the place look inviting and uh, it's festive. It fits the, uh, the holiday that we're celebrating. I just saw a guy eating ice cream while walking. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I would right now. I'm, I'm not cold. Well, I know you where are. Where are we going to eat ice cream? <laughs> you led me right into that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, clever, clever little Asian. Yes, they are sneaky people. They are sneaky people. Earthbound, they have a 50% off. Uh, they're already overinflated prices? Yes. We need to go in there. Not right now, but wait for the Christmas or the Thanksgiving sale. Be able to cash in there. Oh, what was I seeing that's going out of uh, Uncle Lem's? They're going out of business. What is in that? Pigeon Forge. Uncle Lem's. I heard that. Yeah, they're going out. Everything is 50% uh, off and Where more. Where is that? It's in Pigeon Forge. I'm trying to uh, next to the Christmas place. Same side, next building over. Uncle Lem's. Uncle Lem's. Yep. Kind of like got the truck out in front. Chicos and Patagonia. Yeah. Yep, that's the place. That's exactly the place. The place is hopping. to be here. Oh, this is the, the place. I mean, you know that. Oh, hurry up. Cross it. 
they have to stop. See, these people, they're going over the limit at 10 miles an hour through town. Ten bucks, and there's two locations. Oh, they do have the boba tea. Do they? What is that? What place? What's the name of it? On the top? The arcade. The arcade? They got boba tea? Yeah, I just saw it. Alright. They do boba tea milkshake. Tell them what boba tea is. Most people have no idea what you're talking about. Huh? What is boba tea? Boba tea? Why don't they know it? They don't, they don't know it. It's a, basically an Asian drink. What's in a boba tea? A different kind of, um, it's like a milkshake, but it's a tea with different flavors, like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. And it's got pearls, so what do you call it? Tapioca. Tapioca. It's really good. She introduced me to it. Boba tea. If you see it, try it. It's, it's tasty. And it does come in different flavors, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. these people are they going I think they are going to the moonshine or they've been to the moonshine a lot of them have yes definitely so they all are all liquored up no <laughs> not all of the money <laughs> huh? I'm sure there are a lot because there's a lot of moonshine places in here but they're all liquored up. <laughs> Where do you get these slang sayings from? Liquored Who? up. They're walking. They don't, they don't drive. Who they're tells you those things? Up. Me? You. Yeah. Oh, liquored up. <laughs> See, there's a line. Oh, oh the line. Here. Look at the line. Now catch that that's, on the back camera. That's all they wanted there. to buy? That's it. They're there to get in all these places. Wait, they, get, they go from place to I place. I was wondering, you know, after drinking and getting drunk. Okay. Oh. And, and first share that with people you've never, you don't drink ever. Huh? You've never, you've had I a beer. Drink, I haven't, I don't like to drink. No. But anyway, I was wondering, you know, they, um, so they line up to buy a drink. They get shots. Oh, a moonshine. Yes, moonshine. So you get drunk right away. And oh, so yeah. And they, so they walk it off. Yeah, most of you do. You walk it right off. That and then way. you go to the next place. And you drink more. Huh? If, if you So watch, by, by the time you decide, I, it's time to go home. Oh, you're drunk. No, you're not drunk anymore because well, you walk it off. How much you consumed? And did you buy a bottle and drink out of that too? No, people what, don't do that. Well, honey, the honey, reason they get they you know. in there, listen to me. The reason they get you in there is so that you'll buy liquor from them, moonshine from them, and don't think for a minute people don't pop that top and drink it. They do. Not everybody's not, the same not like while, Not while you're driving. Yes. Because they know the rules. <laughs> you hear this, right? That's why, oh honey, that's why they call it DWI. People do it all the time. They drink all they the time. They don't drink it while driving because they know the rules. You know the rules. But tell them that. Tell them that. They don't get... You don't tell me that they don't get nervous getting uh, caught. Of course they do. But that doesn't enter into the picture sometime with some people. They, they drink and drive or they get high while they're driving. It's not unusual. Uh, I would get nervous. I know you would. You get nervous just being in the car. Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. I do get nervous when I know a person is drinking. Mm -hmm. 
you know, thank God you're not drinking. No, I never drink. You know that. Now we are left right. with Look at you. Have chosen left instead of right. What's happening? He's doing something. <laughs> yeah, I can't <laughs> what did it work? What is he acting like a mime or Yeah, I guess he's putting on a show out there. We'll be passing that by in a minute. We'll be going back that way. My wife. Find me? Uh, I mean, he looked almost like he was doing magic show, magic tricks. Oh. But I can't swear to it because I, I gotta watch the Well road. we couldn't turn around and see. Not yet. We will. Well, it'll take a while. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta finish my beer. I mean, I gotta finish my coffee. <laughs> ah, I dropped my beer. I mean, coffee. I do not drink at all. I'm not saying I never have. It's just that I don't drink it. I just have no desire. I'm addicted to your love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I no, I don't think they do. <laughs> no, he's an idiot. This guy is such an idiot. See, we gotta go now. Okay, I gotta, so I gotta find a place around, to turn, like so right can, here, so can, you can watch the mime. Yeah, I like to catch the mime. You want to catch the mime? Once again, here we are in Gatlinburg on a Saturday night, Miss Marie and I. They the, do have a kitchen bar. What does it mean? Kitchen bar open. Um, so the kitchen is open. I you guess. Can look, yeah. You can look. What do they do? I, 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 that sounds good. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> sounds like a, a plan. A neat, a neat. A neat Calhoun's Village. Everything's still running. I didn't lose the camera. <clears throat> Calhoun's Village? It yeah. looks to me like it's just a pathway. Yeah, there's stores back there. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. a little little al alcove things. Oh, why haven't we been there? We have walked back down there. Oh. So there's three cameras going, if you haven't figured that one out yet. I'm going to give you a, a whole different perspective on Gatlinburg on a Saturday night. It's a lot of fun. You're going to be editing uh, edit this. And, and go erase, back and forth, back and forth. Erase, okay, a lot more. So, yeah, I have to because it's too much. That's I'll keep it 15 minutes. A lot more. Silly. No, no, the funny stuff stays. <laughs> Star cars. But you call it clogging? The clog. Well, if they were in different shoes, they and their feet were going different. Tap dance. Tap dance. And they're redoing this building over here. I don't know what it's going to be. The haunted, haunted outside adventure? the yeah outside the haunted adventure Corner next to the building. Corner building. 
I don't even remember what it is, but it might It's say, a moving theater. Is it? Yes. It looks like a Ripley's, right? Yes. Yeah, Ripley's, believe it or not. Different and daring. It's becoming a haunted adventure instead of the moving dinosaur head. Mm -hmm. Did they take the dinosaur head down? Is he gone? No. He's still, still there? there but well, they put a mask on it. Put a Jason mask on it. That'll be. Every Friday and Saturday, they do have a fright night. They have a fright night like we have. Oh, everyone does that. Man. Everybody does. Better. Do they? Good. Yeah. It doesn't help. My eyelids are not hurting anymore. That's good. So don't rub them. Don't rub them. The, this place has the liquidation sale. Are they going out of business too? You, you know, the store right next to your Cinnabon. Or that was Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's still there? Yes. Okay. But That's your the, favorite but place. But the store ne next, next to, to it. it Wasn't that a candy store? Liquidation What is the... Yeah. It's Smoky Mountain Taffy? Yeah, they make taffy there just like they do with the village. Same thing. my favorite place. Oh. Fanny Farkles. It's yours too, isn't it? Huh? Fanny Farkles, isn't that Fanny one? Farkles? Fanny Farkles. They're kind of salty. The hot dogs are a little salty. That I agree. Too much, too many nitrates. But their um, sausage and pepper is fantastic. Do you like the sausage and pepper? Yeah, it's pretty good. I like their corn dogs. You don't find them salty? The corn dogs? Yeah. The last one I have was a little on the, la the last one is a little bit salty. The second time, there's sweetness in it. Maybe they changed vendors. Probably. Okay. Oh, I smell it now. I can smell the corn dogs and the sausage. The wind is blowing in that in our direction. Right?
Ben and Jerry's and Karl Marx. They're wacko liberals with Ben and Jerry's. They pump a lot of money into the Democratic Party. I wouldn't eat their ice cream if it was made of pure gold. They're not good anyway. No, I don't think they're that good. Overpriced. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's. They do too. What is that yeah, place? The lemon place? Oh yeah, I see it now. I didn't notice that. What's the name of that store? Lemonade. Lemonade. The cousin's lemonade. Cousins. So after eating, so the, after eating the salty sausage and peppers, you have to drink the sweet lemonade. Oh yeah. Your Diabetic blood, shock. Your blood sugar is going to... I don't think a lot of these people care. They're trying to go across. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh. Watch them. Watch them. They just pop out. What should they do, honey? You just said it. We'll like, do it again so they hear you say it. Uh, people like, comment, and subscribe, please. So and you can uh, watch our new videos every time. And get to 10,000. That's our, our goal, right? Right. Try to reach 10,000. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Get us to 10,000. Then we'll shut up. Right? Once we get 10,000, I'll shut up. I won't beg anymore. Really? Yeah, because at that point I've reached the goal that I've been trying to reach. Until until you think, oh, oh I'd want to reach. I want to reach 100 and million. And then you're going to start again? I'm going to buy subscribers now. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest, I'm going to sell the house, Money. mortgage it off, yeah. and get 100,000 subscribers. Oh, what is that moonshine? That's moonshine coaster. coaster. Oh. I bet they have a hunt. They don't have a, a sign telling anything that's going on. Moonshine Mountain Coast. Moonshine Mountain Coast. They need a digital sign is what they need. But thank you for joining us and of course we will see you all again. Very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Pulling in here. I ran out of beer. I ran out of uh, John, oh, Jack Daniels, not John Daniels. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. I ran out of all the liquor. I drank it. Up. Don't you hear the bottles clanking around in the back? Where are we going, honey? I got a bar and stopped the cameras. <laughs>